welcome in KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about some of the very important column functions within the Oracle. The column functions are a set of functions that can be used with values from the database tables. The column function can be ca categorized into four categories and here you can see I have written different categories. First category is called aggregate or group functions and these are the important functions comes under this category. Then we have arithmetic, then character and finally we have a date function. So in this video tutorial we are, will discuss about the aggregate or group functions. Yeah. So here uh, you can see first of all we have a sum. Sum is nothing but that computes the total value of the group. Then we have an average to calculate the average salary, uh, average uh, value or any kind of let's say some column is a salary column then you can get the average salary of the employee or something like that or average marks of the student something like that right similarly to mean or max value if you want to get from uh, any column then that you can get then there are two variants of count right here count you can pass the column name right and uh, this will count the number of uh, not null values from the specific column right similarly if you have a if if you pass a start to the count of uh, function then basically this will count the number of rows included uh, those having null values for the given uh, condition so if you want to this will calculate uh, basically this will include null value as well yeah so let's try to understand through an example so i'm going to write a query for each and every function so let's be uh, let's let's start with the sum function so let's say i would like to list the total salary of all the employees so how would you write a query it's pretty simple select sum of salary from emp that's it this is the very very easy example of sum function so uh, let me connect to the escort connection and here here we get the sum of the salary of all the employees within the company or within the emp table if i go to the squad here we have i have a uh, sorry different tables here one of the table is called employee and there we will get number of records 14s right so this will add salary of all the employee and that will return to you right so this is the pretty simple query let me for format this query by pressing Control f7 yeah now let's write next query next query let's say i would like to list the total salary of all employees department wise there also we can make use of uh, 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 some function right so here i would say i would like to get the salary department wise so of course de pt de pt number will have to select that is nothing but department number and here as we want to get the sum of salary department wise so you need to apply group by clause that already we have seen in the previous video tutorial if you did not watch then go and watch group by dept that's it we are done if i run this query then you say this will return you sum of salary department wise cool now we have seen already two examples of sum let's say let's try to find the how we can make use of the avg avg means average so i'd like to calculate the average salary if department wise so just i'm going to copy this query paste it and instead of sum i would say avg so this will give the average salary department wise right so average salary is nothing but how will you get the average salary so this will basically add salary first of all department wise and then divide how many employees exist in that department and that's the average salary here you can see we got the average salary department wise now what is the next function in the list then we have a mean and max so let's say i would like to get the mean and max salary of the employee uh, within the company then how would you write a query so just let me uh, let me copy very sh simple query and here simply i would write mean this will give the mean salary and to get the max salary max and we have to pass the column name that's it 
if I run then here you can see mean salary is eight eight hundred dollar and max salary is five thousand dollar right and that's that's the use case about max and mean then we have a two variants of count right so let's say let's try to understand through an example let's say I would like to write a query to determine the number of employees who have job title right means where job is not null at least then how would you get so just let me copy just I would like to save some time so I am copying so here uh, I would say count and here I will pass the column name nothing but the job right if you look into my table EMP table job basically uh, maintains some designation so here of course every employee has some title so if I run then here you can see number of um, uh, number of uh, employees return as 14 who has job title right now we have let's say I would like to calculate the total number of records right or you can say no before that let's say I would like to uh, write a query to find different job titles available in the company right so this will give you the job titles of all the employee but how many distinct type of job title available within the company or within the employee table then how we can do so along with uh, count before the job you have you have to write distinct right d i s t i n c t distinct yeah this will give you the distinct distinct type of job so only five jobs are, are distinct type of job right now let's say I would like to find uh, or I would like to write a query to find number of employees in each department right how would you write so query is pretty simple I'm going to copy this uh, query itself and here instead of distinct job I'll put a star right I'll put a star and we want the number of employees department wise so D E P T num you will have to write and of course you need to uh, do group wise group by department number because we want a uh, number of employees in each department right so, and that's the query so there are six employees department number 30 five employees in department number 20 and three employees in department number 10 yeah now one thing i would like to show you a uh, use of count function uh, let's say here guys uh, as earlier i told you when you specify uh, here uh, along uh, count uh, when you use the count function let's say let me show you the table here in this table uh, if you could see here commission right let's say i would like to find uh, uh no let's say talk about the mgr this is nothing but the manager id so here you can see one employee he is not a, he doesn't have a manager like uh, this president president doesn't have manager but the rest of the employees has manager so let's uh, try to uh, make use of uh, count on mgr right so if i go back uh, on this and here let's say i would say select select count uh, let's say mgr right from emp so what i said earlier when you specify the column names then this is going to return only not null values so if i run this query then you'll see count will be returned as 13 because if you look at this table one employee does not have a manager and total uh, employee we have a 14 so 14 minus 1 13 is going to return right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial